Today's evening devotional. The greatest work on earth. For the Son of Man is come to seek and to save that which was lost. Luke chapter 19 verse 10. Everyone who believes in Christ as a personal Savior is under bonds to God to be pure and holy, to be a spiritual worker, seeking to save the lost, whether they are great or small, rich or poor, bond or free. The greatest work on earth is to seek and to save those who are lost, for whom Christ has paid the infinite price of his own blood. Everyone is to do active service, and if those who have been blessed with light do not diffuse light to others, they will lose the rich grace which has been bestowed upon them, because they neglect a sacred duty plainly marked out in the word of God. As the light of the unfaithful one diminishes, his own soul is brought into peril, and the ones to whom he should have been a shining light miss the labor that God intended that they should have through the human instrument. Thus the sheep unsought is not brought back to the fold. God depends upon you, the human agent, to fulfill your duty to the best of your ability, and he himself will give the increase. If human agents would but cooperate with the divine intelligences, thousands of souls would be rescued. The Holy Spirit would give devoted workers glimpses of Jesus that would brace them for every conflict, that would elevate and strengthen them, and make them more than conquerors. When two or three are met together to unite their counsel, and to send up their petitions, the promise is for them, ask, and it shall be given you, seek, and ye shall find, knock, and it shall be opened unto you. Luke chapter 11 verse 9. If ye then, being evil, know how to give good gifts unto your children, how much more shall your heavenly Father give the Holy Spirit to them that ask him? Verse 13. The Lord has promised that where two or three are met together in his name, there will he be in the midst. Those who meet together for prayer will receive an unction from the Holy One.